Hey, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life With Herpes. And today I wanna to talk about fertility and herpes. Okay, so this is a question I get a ton from you. I get emails, DMs, questions uh, from women that are like, hey, I want to be a mom, and questions from guys like, hey, can I be a dad? You know, can I still have a baby even though I have herpes? I've done a lot of other videos about pregnancy, about delivery, so I will link those all for you, but today specifically, I want to talk about fertility. Okay. So this is a question I personally had, right? I mean, I was diagnosed back in 2011. I was worried about it too. I asked my doctor, hey, can I be a mom? Can I get pregnant, all this? And she said, yes, absolutely. So there was really only two lifestyle, I guess, choices, changes that could impact your ability to get pregnant. So number one is if you get outbreaks during the time, uh, my husband likes to call it flower days, but during the time that you're fertile. So if you're familiar with this whole process, there's really only a few number of hours that you're really, really fertile. And if you happen to have outbreaks during that time, which is very common for women to get outbreaks during their ovulation uh, part of their cycle. So if you are getting outbreaks during that cycle, whether you are a female getting an outbreak or the male getting the outbreak, it is gonna be hard to have sex, right? It's gonna be painful, you're probably not gonna to wanna to have sex. Therefore, that could potentially impact you getting pregnant around the right time. The other is another lifestyle choice if you are using condoms, right? So if you're using condoms, then clearly that's gonna get in the way of the sperm meeting the egg. They can't meet up, right? So that's another choice that you're gonna to have to make. Again, that's a personal choice of what you're doing. I get questions all the time like, do I have to go through IVF? Should we use a turkey baster? Hey, no, absolutely, you don't need to go to that level. It's just an opportunity for you and your partner to have that conversation and see where you feel comfortable. It really requires communication. Now, I wanna bring up this other article I found. Um, it was out of Iran. It was one article and it was for men that were, they don't know why they were deemed infertile. And so of the, of the men that they did the research on, they did men that had HSV1 and HSV2. And of those men they had with HSV, they had low sperm count. And this is just one study based out of Iran. Um, I haven't seen any other articles throughout you know, I haven't seen any anything else. I've talked to other medical professionals. They've mentioned that herpes has nothing to do with infertility. So I just want to throw it out there. I have linked the article if you want to read it. Keep in mind, I'm not saying it's bogus, but it is just one study. Fertil I want to switch over to fertility really quick. So fertility is something that is really important when you're trying to get pregnant. Now we spend our whole lives trying not to get pregnant, right? Now we throw in herpes and our herpes diagnosis, but really spend our whole lives trying not to get pregnant. And then when we're ready to get pregnant, it's like, oh, can I get pregnant? I have herpes now, am I fertile, all this. So fertility was a personal journey for me. Um, I am pregnant and my husband and I are expecting our first child, but we went through IVF, in vitro fertilization. Now it had nothing to do with herpes, it was because of my age and egg quality and my husband and his sperm and all that. And so we needed the extra uh, support, little elves, <laughs> to have the sperm and egg meet. So really what I wanna recommend, if this is something that is really important to you, I would recommend finding out your fertility status. I recently was just interviewed with Modern Fertility. I have the article listed here, linked for you to, for you to read. And it, I talk about fertility. I talk about my fertility struggles. I talk about how important it is for you to know. It doesn't mean you're gonna get pregnant today. It doesn't mean you wanna get pregnant in a year, but it's just really important for you to know this. So if fertility is a major concern of yours, then to do your due diligence and, and find out, take the test. I have it linked. Like I said, I have it linked for you. Um, you can order the test from them and you can find out. All right. I'll see you soon in the next art or article, next video. 
and uh, have a great day. Bye.